What's up you guys? So as you see, we got snow. Look how pretty the mountains are. That is absolutely beautiful. So this will be gone by <laughs> this afternoon. But the fact that, look, my foot is actually buried in this little snow. It's insane, right? Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. So, <laughs> had to come out here and <laughs> just play in the snow. It's nowhere near cold. So this stuff is melting as we speak. You can actually probably hear the the icicles melting right now, but it's so cute. Got a few pictures. Why not? Probably never gonna see snow no more <laughs> um, this year. It only snowed last year one time and this year one time. <laughs> so I thought I'd just pop on here and say, hey, you guys, hey, it's snow. Look, it even has little, <laughs> look, it even has little icicles on the, the roof. This is what you hear melting right now. This one right there. They're melting. <laughs> The palm that used to go over in that corner is in the house now because you know it was pretty pretty chilly last night um, But yeah, it's so exciting to see they delayed school today um, I think about an hour or so so my kids are just now leaving the house all that good stuff Anyways, I just wanted to pop in and say hey y'all. Hey, we'll just do a little chit chat hanging around the house because you know I don't have nowhere to go nothing to do. I need to um Stump that snow off my foot. Alright. Yo. It was so cold, like I um heat it had kinda like stay it wouldn't get more than um warmer than 74 last night. But here is my palm tree that I brought in. And then I brought this one in as well. So this one is kinda on its last leg. I was gonna throw it away, but then I ended up putting it outside and it's still living. <laughs> It's still living, so I was like, why waste a good plant? But anyways, hey, I just wanted to say, hey, I had to show y'all the snow in here. And then when he's looking through, oh, it smells so good here. I just cleaned my um, bed. Oh, so good. I just cleaned it and um all that stuff but look at this plant right here I need to wipe the leaves down I just watered it this morning but I thought I was trying to show you um the mountains through the window but I don't think you'll see it well a little bit so that's a pretty view right such a pretty view anyways you guys, I'm not doing anything. I need to go ahead and get my um, video done for today that I have to get up by tomorrow. Um, and that's today. I just wanted to share y'all the snow, really. That's the only reason I'm about to, about to turn this camera on. Let's see what the uh, front look like. Oh my goodness. It is snow, you guys. Look at this. Look at the bench. <laughs> look at my Mickey Mouse. They are covered. Look, oh my goodness. Wipe my boots off and go here. Oh, look at this one. It's not doing so well, I don't know. <laughs> the leaves are super soft, but it's just not doing that well. 
so I don't know what to do with this plant. I don't know really where to put it at, you know. It was really full like this. It's two stems in here. This one was, was all leaves and they all came off. Yeah, it's not doing so great. I have washed. It's been like two or three loads already going this morning. I have another load. This is white, so we'll get this washed up. I'm in all black. This is probably not the best time to be washing white, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Mr. Left his man cave light on. Let's see if he left the garage light on. Of course, cut this light off. Yeah. So, is my stuff dry? He put my stuff in the dryer. Of course, it's not dry. Let's restart it. This light out. Hey, hey. I'm hungry, so I don't know what I'm gonna eat. I just had coffee this morning. Let's lift this right here so we can look out the window. You can see the little bit of snow before it goes away. <laughs> out of my kitchen window. Look at the snow! Let me put his... I need to put his camera back before he knows I was touching it. But yeah, ever do that? Touch your spouse stuff and you know they don't like you to touch it. So you gotta put it back the same way you so say they don't know. Cause they don't they don't trust that you're gonna take care of their items, you know? Ooh, look at that sunlight. Well, daylight because the sun is not out really. And put you there. There, okay, let me wash my hands. Uh, ooh, these are borderline almost super duper hard. Like it's still soft, but like the edge part. Is that better? All right. Anyway, so I'm just trying to get this stuff paid off so we can get ready to move next year. So for sure next year, we will be out of here heading to our final destination. <laughs> you guys know I don't want this. I, I don't care about like moving and being finished. I just don't want to be stuck in one place forever like that is what I'm dreading but maybe since I've never done it maybe it'll be better I don't have to worry when I get something done or if I paint something or whatever I don't have to worry about um in the near future having to take it apart and you know make it stuff temporarily so maybe it'll it is a, an upside to it having your own and stop dealing with white <laughs> refrigerators and tiny little pantries because I am speaking it into existence. I will have a decent sized pantry and nice appliances in a beautiful kitchen. That's like life goals, you know? Maybe not starting out because I don't want to jump into too much. I want to like a nice semi starter home because I don't know what to expect, you know? And then as I get more familiar with what you want and what you want like where you want to plug where it not a plug you know what i mean so i don't want to jump out having a dream house per se but i just want to have a decent nice house i'm okay with that so cream cheese bagel and coffee is my breakfast this morning i don't really have a lot to do it's not um it's probably like two cups right here in a plate from breakfast because we got the dishes done yesterday i cleaned up yesterday did a clean with me so the house is pretty good Kind of, um, I was kind of uh, getting a little frustrated the other day because um, you know being this lifestyle you have to keep on moving following the, the guys around or whatever or vice versa if it's a girl whatever whoever the service member here following them around or whatever and I feel like sometimes you can lose yourself you know, I was really like getting frustrated the other day, like literally like a few days ago. Like, man, the only thing I've been doing is following you around. I should have this, I should have did this, I should have accomplished this, I should have did that, you know? And I was kind of being a little brat, being ungrateful a little bit. So I had to check myself like, girl. He's sacrificing too, you know, having to get up every single day, make sure you guys are good. Um, he was just 
literally yesterday making sure that um i was good good for schooling so i'm gonna try to get some type of certificate or something before we leave out of here um so i was looking into like different universities or whatever i want to get certified or something accomplished within 12 to 18 months before we leave out of here is what i was looking online for but my whole point was sometimes i was just like getting frustrated like oh my god i should have had this accomplished oh my god i should have did this but i just don't know how blessed i was to be able to stay at home i didn't have to show my babies in daycare two weeks six weeks after you know i was able to stay home with each and every last one of them um and today was up and walking and good and you know potty trained and all that stuff so yeah i'm not saying they never went to daycare they went to daycare like when he was deployed one time i had him in daycare i was working full time and in school so you know but they were much older at that time probably jordan was probably what four he was probably yeah about four at that time the weekend and i was chit chatting with a few um young ladies and uh you know some of them got degrees and this and that but of course some of them in divorce and raising their babies and having to they're making all this money but yet she's you know a single mom and having to make it happen you know so so i kind of just like weigh my options yeah i could be career driven having all this this and this and that and then struggling because i got the babies by myself and yeah i was just thinking like Everything you have before reason in life, you know? You don't necessarily know why or how or what. But yeah, just cause you make a lot of money um, and if you're not completely happy and you're still trying to chase love and all that stuff, then it's like, what's the point? You know, so it's, money can't buy you love and you know, what love got to do with it is <laughs> it's like a double-edged sword. You guys drink water? You should drink water. That's a secret to clear skin. <laughs> He has, I told my daughter, take those rugs upstairs. See, this is why we've been bumping heads because whenever she wants me to do something, and then I washed the rugs yesterday. I was like, okay, here, they out the dryer, take them upstairs to your room. And they're still in there on that floor. I like the door open. Let me lock the, my water. Lock this screen door. Just in case somebody's try to come up in here, you know. Um, there you go. Don't mind those. Those are tripods on the floor. There we go. Yay. Okay, I got lotion over here in my little desk. From the drop. So, you guys, let's talk about what. How's your 2020 going? Is it a new you, new, new everything? Everybody's doing it. New you, new me, 2020 type stuff. I should have left it alone. Messing with it, now look at it. Okay. Don't mind that mess. I still haven't put that up yet. Um, But my 2020 is all right. It's going, it's going, you know. I'm just really loving my little dollar notebook that i did for my little budget so now i have everything highlighted meaning different codes here's a little cup mr had um gifted me so i have all my little highlighters and all my little fancy little pens in here this one Ooh, i don't know if you'll see it it's going down yeah so it writes really well i think this is a, a maybe a ray dunn one if i'm not mistaken i don't know got it from um tj maxx but yeah that's really what i'm focusing on like i don't even care about anything else at the moment i haven't really purchased any home decor um i haven't did any am i telling a, a truth did i purchase anything i don't remember I haven't purchased any home decor. I'm gonna stick to it because I don't remember. Oh, this picture. My um picture up here from Burlington. I think that's the only thing I've purchased. Um, but that was like 20, 20, 20, 30 bucks, and it was just so cute. Uh, but that's it. I'm ready just to get out of bed, y'all. That's it. So I can work on getting our um emergency funds saved up before we get out, before he gets out or whatever. My goal probably like see i don't know how much to save because we would never we never had i think we may we're gonna start renting 
um because i don't know you know we got to figure out the area all that so i don't know that's our plan that's my plan i don't want to just straight, jump straight out and go try to buy i want to take my time make sure it's a good price i don't want to rush so i don't mind renting for like six months or whatever but i said that because i don't know how much emergency fund i'm going to need so i'm going to estimate like twenty five hundred dollars and i'm sure that should cover i don't know if they have lights i mean not lights i don't know if they would have electric and gas or just gas i don't know any of that so stop moving the doggone tripod okay that should be fine so yeah i'm gonna guess that twenty five hundred dollars which should cover um mortgage and um light water and all that so i'm gonna put that times three to six months i don't know i think i said i wanted to save probably like a minimum of 10 minimum that's the bare minimum um for the emergency fund let's see times six that's fifteen thousand. um so probably i'll probably aim for like 12 before we leave right so sometimes we lose it and be ungrateful okay i'm about to go for real i have to go get this video done so i can get it edited and posted by tomorrow so let me go do that you guys <laughs> it's been hours since i picked this camera back up but this is what i've been working on trying to get this organized i'm kind of swamped so i'm just gonna walk away from it for right now because i'm getting frustrated because i would need um to use some more vertical space but i can't figure out what to put on a little rack so it's not so heavy so that's what i'm working on and i'm trying to come up with some ideas so anyways let me share all of our snow is gone that's it look at this just a tad bit over there by the remnants of that wall that's all the snow you would never have known it snowed this was <laughs> so much snow earlier earlier look at the beautiful mountains look at that beautiful yeah i love it i love it i love it so i just wanted to pop back on here i'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog i'm just gonna finish up this pantry um figure out what i'm gonna feed my family the other two they're still at school then um practice sport practice and the little ones upstairs dornell is in the garage that's about it. Let's go see. He's supposed to have been helping me, but no, that didn't work too well. Say hey to the vlog. What's up, vlog? How y'all doing today? Make sure you go follow DLeroy underscore photography on Instagram. Like all of my pictures. <laughs> all 1,200 of them. I'll put it in the um, description box. But yeah, he was supposed to have been helping me. And you see where he did a few measurements and then left. <laughs> That's that. All right, you guys. I ain't talking about nothing. I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace. <laughs>